by the way, my graduation hat. Let me put it over here. Oh! This is like the worst balancing act. I wish you guys could see my setup. I'll show you afterward. It's awful. Good morning, everybody. So it's currently Tuesday and I just ran up the stairs with all of my makeup on this little cutting board because I'm gonna just sit down and get ready with you guys while I do my makeup for my graduation today. I don't really know if I feel excited yet because it doesn't really feel like it's happening right now. But yeah, let me just like tie this back so it's getting a bit annoying. I'm gonna start off with the Your Skin But Better CC Cream and I think this is the shade Fair. It doesn't say on here. It don't say. So my graduation's like later in the afternoon, but I'm getting ready early because I have to be there like early to like get everything set up and like get my gown and my tickets for my guests. I'm bringing my aunt and cousin. They live in Canada, but they're in England for I think a couple weeks. So, okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I don't even know where to start talking because there's so much to talk about. Maybe let me just talk about my grad first and then I can update you guys on like what's been going on with Carl. And you're probably wondering like, Megan, what are you gonna do now <laughs> that you're graduated? What's going on? So I'm gonna talk about all that this morning. I have to concentrate on my brows first though, you guys, I'm sorry. I can't talk. Oh, I should probably say I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow in Taupe. I gotta make sure these eyebrows are on fleek today, girl. We cannot be having ugly eyebrows. At least not today. <laughs> so, yeah, today I'm graduating. I'm getting my degree, my official award. So I officially have a degree in zoology which is just uh it's such a dream come true like i can't believe i've done that you know and i really hope that this is inspiration to any woman out there like anyone who's older that you can go to school like you can go and do these things like even if it takes you a couple years that time is gonna pass by anyway so you may as well just do it you know like I remember when i started i was like oh my god but i'm gonna be 28 when i graduate and like is this worth it and blah 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 and it's like yeah like the time, time has passed by so fast i'm done now like i just blinked and it's done like how crazy is that yeah i'm just really happy i'm really excited yesterday i actually didn't have a dress for grad so yesterday i went all around the trafford center trying to find something and luckily i found this gorgeous 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 dress in Zara and it was only 50 pounds. It was worth it. Um, it's actually something that I would wear in the future on like a date. Where did I just put the lid for this? Uh, that's the thing, I always lose the lids <laughs> for these little eyebrow things. No, it's gone. I don't know where it is. Oh my god, by the way, they have Bath and Body Works in the UK now. What the hell? Yesterday, when I was going around the Trafford Center, I was so surprised because I came across this store. Like, I, I go to the Trafford Center, I'd say, quite frequently. I just was looking in the distance and I'm like, I could see body works. And I was just like, that can't be right. Like, how is there? And then as I kept getting closer, I could see like the Bath and Body Works sign. And I was like, oh my God. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Like, it was just such a surprise, so... It's like there's no point in even going back to North America because all the cool stores that I missed are here. We have Tim Hortons, we have Bath and Body Works. Like, there's really nothing that I miss now in Canada. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's only friends and family that I care about seeing now. They're really expensive, though. Like, their candles have always been expensive, but they're a little bit too expensive here. It was like 30 pounds for one candle. 30 pounds is $60 Canadian. So, uh-uh, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, today I'm just so excited because I get to see my aunt and cousin. They're coming with me, so I'm just, I'm gonna pick them up after I get ready. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see them too because I haven't seen them in a hot minute. I haven't seen my cousin who I used to live with when I farm and I miss her so much. Like we were such good little buddies and partners in crime like uh, I would used to have like such a laugh with her and she's like 10 years younger than me so 
She's going to be like a lot older. She's going to be a lot taller. I think she's even taller than me now, which is going to be crazy. So I'm just so excited to see her. I don't know if I'm going to vlog them. I'll have to ask because I just don't want to put the camera on people's faces. You know what I mean? So I might not vlog them. They may not want that. So, so I think my brows are okay. They're not, they're not perfect. They're not as perfect as I want them to be. I'm in such a rush right now. I should have woken up earlier, but I woke up at like 3 a.m. My insomnia has been doing pretty good, by the way. If you watch my caffeine, excuse me, a caffeine-free video, it's actually been really good. Some days I just get like really bad insomnia, but most of the time I don't anymore, which is amazing. But like last night, I woke up at 3 and I think it's because I heard Waffles downstairs. Waffles, my ball python, he, he's nocturnal, so he kind of like slithers around at night time. <laughs> and it's so, he's like, he scares me. When I was first living on my own, like here, he used to give me such a scare because like, I would just hear this really loud bang downstairs, but it was just Waffles like, climbing on his lights because he loves to climb. He's not like other ball pythons where they just slither around like he loves climbing but when he does it it's it makes like such a loud bang so he woke me up and i like ran downstairs because i thought there was an intruder but it turns out it was just waffles thank goodness so i tried going back to bed but i couldn't so i fell asleep at like 5 a.m and i was originally going to get up at 5 a.m but yeah i fell back asleep so i just was like whatever it's fine. I'm not doing like a crazy makeup look today. It's kind of like all about the hair and the dress. Okay, so I'm just gonna do my eyes quick. I'm just gonna put like this little highlight on the lids of my eye. I'm gonna keep the eyes simple-ish. But yeah, you're probably wondering, Megan, what are you gonna do now? So I'm a bit annoyed because I filmed a vlog where I found my results and like it was the same day that Carl went to surgery. I'm just gonna put this in my crease. If you haven't watched that video where I was talking about Carl, which by the way, I'm so sorry. Like, I after I uploaded it, I felt so bad because I didn't think about it at the time. I just felt like, okay, well, this is my vlog. This is what happened in my day. And like, you know, I don't want to edit it out and be fake. But I don't think it was something that I should have shared because I didn't know if he had cancer or not. So if you didn't watch that video, like, Carl may have cancer because he he has, like, this little growth on his lip. And I posted a video and I was, like, crying and I was, like, really upset. And, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like being vulnerable on the internet. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but this is really my online diary. But after I posted it, I felt really bad because I didn't want people to worry about Carl if, like, there really was nothing to worry about because... The vet was just saying like it could be cancer, it could be something that's not serious, but we wouldn't know unless we did a biopsy. So she gave me iodine to see if it would go down. Not iodine, sorry. These injections of antibiotics. So I had to literally inject a needle into his arm. Oh, I was just, I felt so guilty. I used to be able to do it no problem. I'm gonna put some eyeliner. I love this tip for eyeliners, by the way. It just makes it so easy. Oh yeah, so antibiotics like for about, I think it was two weeks or a week and a half. And then we had an appointment, the appointment um, to see the vet and see whether or not it helped, whether or not that means we need to do like a biopsy. And that was the same day that I got my results from my school. So it was just like such a hectic day. I tried to vlog it, but... It was just so all over the place that I was like, this isn't even a fun vlog to edit. I don't think this is going to be a fun vlog to watch. So I just like scrapped it. That's why I didn't post anything for two weeks or maybe even three weeks. Depends how quickly I edit this other video I just filmed. So it turned out he needed surgery because even though the antibiotics helped make his bump a little less red, the vet was still a bit concerned because it was still big. So... We just decided to do surgery and I was so shocked because she's like, I have an opening right now, like we can do it today. And I was like, oh, no. Well, I said yes. And I was like, 
so like shocked because I wasn't expecting that that day so Carl had surgery has like this little cut on his lip now and we're just still waiting the results she said it, I should expect them by today I, I don't even know what I would do if, if it says he has cancer like there's really nothing you can do for chameleons you know what I mean like what am I gonna put him through like <laughs> chemotherapy like I don't I wouldn't know what to do yeah I just hope it's nothing serious but I shouldn't have posted that so I'm very sorry guys I know you may not mind but for me personally even if people don't mind for me personally I won't do that again because it's just not fair to people oh by the way I'm using the naked lashes by Ardell these are really pretty but they're quite annoying on the sides they're hard to put down in the corner why am I blowing on this? I haven't put the thing on yet. Wow, that's awkward. But yeah, it was a very hectic day. I was really nervous about Carl because reptiles don't do as well under anesthetic. Is that what it's called? Anesthesia? Anesthetic? Wow. I'm graduating with a STEM degree today and I don't even know. I mean, I'm not a doctor, so I don't give a fuck. I don't even know like basic stuff like that. I still can't believe I did a STEM degree. I always see like these posts of people saying women in STEM and I don't ever include myself in that because it doesn't feel like I'm in STEM but I guess I am. Like zoology is a science degree and it was not easy. Oh my god, it was not an easy degree. So I probably can talk to you guys about what I'm doing now because I originally that in my results video that I never and will never up upload. So there won't be as much excitement now because I've already talked about it but I got my grades and i am doing my masters now by the way i'm just um i'm putting the it cosmetics bye bye under eye i freaking hate this concealer but it does do a good job at getting rid of my dark bags so i am gonna just use it quickly it's really tacky and it's like really sticky i think this would be nice for someone who has like oily skin maybe but for dry skin it just feels like so bad so i'm just gonna put that like here I'm going for my master's, but it's not the one that I've been talking about the whole time. So I was like telling you guys how I was going to do an integrated master's where instead of me graduating today and like getting my classification and my, and my degree and everything, my degree would have been combined with an extra year. I would have like done a continuation of all the projects that I did with my supervisor. And then next year I would have graduated with not an MSc, but an M. B I O L, so like a Masters of Biology. Okay, I'm just gonna go over my concealer with the Lasting Perfection Hydrating Serum in the shade Porcelain. Um, but yeah, I was originally gonna do that. I got the grades for it, which I'm so so surprised about. Um, so I made it, and I could have continued going with it, but like with that Masters though, I just felt like it was too broad for me. Like, the project that I got assigned to, I wasn't really passionate about, and I didn't really, like, my supervisor was nice and all, but there was just something about it. You know, like, it's just a gut feeling, and then when I got to thinking about it, I didn't realize, like, my classification for my bachelor's wouldn't be separate from my master's, so if I graduated, like, right now, like, as I did, and I got good grades, I got a really good degree at the end, so I was able to apply to other masters. Like, if I continued on, my classification may have been worse and that would have really screwed me up and also i didn't realize too that once you do your masters in the uk you can't really do another one you can but you, you won't get funding for it so i was like should i really waste my time doing a general zoology degree like is that really gonna put me anywhere closer to my goals and i just felt like the answer was no by the way i'm using the Lori mercier translucent powder under my eyes but yeah i was just like is that what I want to do and the answer was no like there was just so many things so before I made my decision I like was looking at other master's courses and I applied to a couple and there was this one in particular that I really really loved which is at the same school so it's quite nice um, I like the module leader as well it's about conservation decision so it's like a very specialized degree where you learn like how to use GIS, learn more about like population ecology and like the conservation side of it and like yada 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 but you also learn about like the human aspect like you have to learn about social economics to take into account like different groups of people so for instance 
would fishermen be okay with you setting up like a marine protected area in one region or like you know it's really really cool and like i actually that was my favorite topic in school was conservation by the way i'm just gonna contour with this shade actually before i do that i'm just gonna go over my my eyeliner with some brown i'm gonna use this pen i don't really know how to describe it it's a bit tricky to describe this degree because it's it's really complex but it's, it's sort of a mixture of science and social sciences and just like the actual like what we're gonna be doing next year is just so exciting something i'm passionate about and it's like a job i could actually see myself doing so yeah i can't believe like i'll be going back to school in september i'm so excited but i say like the one thing that i've learned from my degree like doing my bachelor's was when i go back to school this year i'm not gonna stress out i'm not gonna be freaking out like i did because I feel like, yes, I graduated, but I just feel like everything was a blur. Because I was always just like worrying about things and not really being in the moment, not really enjoying it. And I'm a bit regretful about that. So I think for my master's, I just really want to make sure I'm like enjoying it and being in the moment, you know. But yeah, I hope I explained that right. I'm probably not explaining that properly. It doesn't probably sound exciting. It's just such a weird feeling, you know, to really think that you're not good enough to do something. And it's like, if you put your mind to it, you can do it, you know? So, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna take this contour shade again. I'm just gonna put this here. I really hope this makeup lasts me until... I have to uh, get my degree. I'm just gonna do a little bit here. Nice, nice. We just go over that with a little bit of powder. Oh, do do do. I'm getting ready. The more I'm getting excited for today, I'm just really excited to see my family. To be honest, which is really cheesy, but it's true. It doesn't feel as climatic. This graduation ceremony wow that was weird graduation because i know i'm just going back to the same school <laughs> uh next year gonna contour the poop out of my double chin i've got going on here i've been eating way too much good food lately you guys uh you know what i'm gonna get actually because i'm in town and there's an asian market really close to the school i'm gonna get some chinese lettuce leaf and make some kimchi and i'm gonna get tok tokboki tokboki is that what it's called well i'm probably butchering that that'll be my like congratulatory meal <laughs> actually i may go out with my family you know it was actually sad because francesco was supposed to come today too but we're only allowed two tickets so it didn't feel fair to ask my family <laughs> to like split up because you can live stream it. There's like a separate room that they have for extra guests who can't be physically in the building because there's not enough room. Yeah, somebody would have had to go in there, like either my aunt or my cousin, because if Francesco's coming all the way from Brighton, then that would have been... I would have felt so bad. So he ended up just not coming, um, which is sad, but you know, it's okay. Somebody who's not really concentrating and is more concentrating on talking to you, I'd say that I'm doing an okay job. I watched my old makeup tutorials and I was just like, wow, I used to do my makeup so good. Like, what on earth happened? So I'm making more effort to do my makeup a little bit more. Even though I love the no makeup makeup look, like the one that I did in my Get Ready With Me in April. I still like to do that. I still like to make my, my eyebrows, like, um, transparent and stuff. It's just like sometimes you want to be glamorous. You know what I mean? You want to feel like you know so yeah i've been like loving just getting glam recently that's why like people on here have to take what i say with a pinch of salt because my personality just changes all the time when it comes to like what i like to do with my physical self so i'm sorry if i'm a bit all over the place i think that's good i'm just gonna add some mascara which i don't even know if this is a good mascara i literally just bought this yesterday it's the elf one i'm trying to like stick with cruelty free makeup now like i'm still using some products that is 
I guess, testing on animals in one way or another. But I'm like slowly getting rid of them. Like every time I run, run out of one, I'm going to replace it with something that's better. But I'm just nervous because I'm just like, what if this is a really bad mascara that I just bought? Just going to take my highlighter, which is MAC. I'm so sad that MAC isn't cruelty free. Look at how old this highlighter is. I've had this for like... I actually don't want to say that. That's really embarrassing. I'm not even going to tell you guys how old that is. But if it works, like whatever, right? If it ain't broke. Actually, it is broke. Don't fix it. And just put some here and here. I'm not going to go crazy with the highlighter on my eyes. I normally love to do that white highlighter with this. But I think because I'm going for a bold red look today, I'll stick with this highlighter because it's kind of like subtle-ish. So before I go back to school, this bedroom, you guys, is getting done. I am going to make sure that this bedroom is looking so good. That video is going up before I start school. I don't even care. I've said it. I have to follow through now. <laughs> it has to be done. It's been like unfinished for so long. I'm just going to go. I think I'm just going to put like a little powder through my eyebrows just to make it look like a little bit like I guess more blended in because my eyebrows can be a bit like intense because they're fake you know okay face makeup done so now for my favorite part which is the lipstick so I'm actually just gonna brush my teeth quick before I do that <laughs> give me one second okay. I'm just gonna put on the NYX setting spray this is the dewy one this one's really good I actually hate doing that. I don't mind it once I have that first spray over, but like that first spray is just something else. Okay, so for my favorite part of the makeup, I'm going to be using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Alabama. In Alabama. And then we are going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in first dance. I Love this lipstick. Oh, oh my god. That's so cute. There's like little things on it. I don't know if you can see it in this light It's not even red, but it looks red on me for some reason. It's like a berry color Like it's not even red, but it's it registers as red in my brain But like a really muted red color even though it's like a really dark pink but I just really like that. So let's quickly do the hair. I'm gonna be doing a technique, which I just learned yesterday. So I think it's maybe not a good idea for me to do this right now. It's essentially like crimping your hair, but with a straightener. Go like this, you straighten this way, and then you flip it. You straighten it, and then you flip it, straighten it, Flip it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Straighten and then boom. So then it just gives you like a really pretty like crimped curl. I wore this out yesterday and I actually really liked it because over time it ends up looking like a mermaid wave. It's kind of similar to my actual natural hair, but I don't know. <laughs> Flip. Straighten. I actually could do my hair like this every day because it's just so fun to do. I don't know why. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, I'm gonna go finish this and I'll see you guys when I'm all dressed and ready to go. And this is the final look. I love it. Let me uh, back away. I love this dress so much. So I can't really... <laughs> Zip. Zip this up. I'm not flexible enough. Oh, I'm gonna have to ask my aunt to do it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see. Sorry, it's a bit messy. But yeah. I love it. I'm wearing, to represent zoology, I'm wearing my snake earrings and my Lacoste necklace. <laughs>
good job. You're so cute. She's trying to get it off. <laughs> These baboons, they go on top of your car and they like rip little pieces off and you can see on the floor all these car parts. Oh, on the oh. oh my god, look at the back of her truck. Oh my god, I got beat up by some animal. Like a rhino or something. <laughs> Excuse me? What animal did that to the back of the car? Oh, it's been around the whole park. So it's oh. been hit by plenty of different animals. <laughs> 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 been hit by plenty of different animals. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to Nosy Safari over at the giraffe paddock in two minutes time. Thank you. <laughs> Waffles is getting his stretch. Wow, go long he is. Waffles, when did you get that? <laughs> when did you get this big? Look at him slithering around. Ew, Waffles, you're gonna get dirty if you touch my shoes. Hi, it's current me. I just finished editing. This video, as you can see, the last clip is of me watching Stranger Things for the first time yesterday. It's actually really good. I'm on episode four or five now. 
And I can't believe I've waited all this time to watch it. It just started getting good. Anyways, I just wanted to film an outro. Oh, and I also wanted to say too that I got a call from the vets about Carl. And he doesn't have cancer. So they did test. They didn't detect any cancer cells. But she was saying that... I don't know what she was talking about. She was saying some sort of technical term with the cells. And she was saying it could have been pre-cancerous so it was good that we got it removed anyways and um they're running further tests because they detected some sort of fungal or bacterial strains and so they're just running some more stuff so he'll probably need to go on antibiotics again <laughs> poor carl but i'm glad that it's nothing serious and i just want to say i'm sorry again for like posting that video without knowing but i really did appreciate all your comments because at a time when i was really upset about it like reading all your comments just made me feel a lot better. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of like more uncut vlog. I've literally only gone through this video one time, so it's gonna be posted very raw. I was gonna post it for you guys tonight, but it's 4.30 right now. I can't believe I finished a video this early. It literally takes me so long. It takes me like days to edit videos sometimes, but I've edited this video so fast, so I'm so proud of myself. So I'm gonna keep up with that in the future this will be up for you guys on saturday so as you're watching this was me yesterday i tried okay i tried for you guys today to get this up i didn't really talk about graduation day either because it kind of just went into me like doing things around the house and then going out with my aunt and cousin um so i didn't really talk a lot because i just enjoyed the day and i was really present in the moment um i just had such a lovely day it just felt like you were in harry potter like it was a very old tradition of how they carry out that ceremony the graduation ceremony and it was just such a cool experience to be a part of i don't know it's, it's something that like as a canadian i would watch like on tv or like in a movie but it was really cool to be part of something like that and i just had a really lovely day it was so nice and sunny and it was so nice too to like spend time with my family so anyways just want to say again thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next week with another video bye